You guys like Mahjong? How about Pretty Girls? Well, it's time for some delicious Pretty Girls Mahjong. <laughs> Wait a minute, punctuation matters. It's time to play some delicious Pretty Girls Mahjong Solitaire. That's the one. So this is another collaboration between Zoo Corporation and East Asia Soft to get some fun little waifu games onto consoles. The last one we played was Bishoujo Battle Cyber Panic, which was inspired by Kix. I think we're supposed to be getting a poker game too, so I'm looking forward to that as well. But Mahjong Solitaire is one of my favorite relaxing games. Not traditional Mahjong, but this is the nice, easy, relaxing, tile matching Mahjong Solitaire. And I can't think of a better way to improve on it than by adding some pretty anime girls to it. The bright colors and complementary curves to lift my spirits! Tile matching Mahjong is super simple. Even if you haven't played it before, basically you are going to be removing matching tiles until you've cleared the board. But there are some basic rules to follow. You can match any tiles that aren't blocked in. Basically, they have to have the entire top face completely clear and either the entire left or right side completely clear in order to be matched. I like to imagine that the tiles need to slide out to the left or right in order to be matched. So we could match these two or these two, not this one since the top face is partially trapped. Not this one, since the left and right sides are partially trapped, it needs to have the entire left or the entire right side completely clear. If you still aren't sure, don't worry about it too much. The game can let you know which tiles you can match and you'll eventually get the hang of it. In this game, we have several different girls to choose from. Each girl has a few different outfits to unlock. Some of these outfits are more delicious than others. On each stage, you'll need to complete three rounds of solitaire in order to unlock a new outfit. You do have a limited amount of time, but completing a tile match will add to that timer. Don't worry about it too much though, you've got unlimited retries, and I find it to be quite relaxing just matching pieces, so just keep having fun and you'll eventually get it. If you're playing the PlayStation 4 version, then there is a trophy for completing the first and second stage with most girls. Doing that for the seven girls that are initially unlocked is all you need in order to get the Platinum Trophy. So it's a pretty easy Platinum, but I'm still motivated to keep playing to unlock more outfits and go for higher scores. After you unlock new outfits, you can view them anytime in the dressing room. If the game is giving you too much trouble, you can go to the options and switch the game to easy mode. This removes the time limit it gives you a certain number of hints and allows you to reshuffle the board a few times. You can still unlock outfits and trophies in easy mode, but the game won't score you. I definitely recommend playing this on normal mode if you can because I think it's a lot more fun that way and there are online leaderboards for high scores in normal mode. So if you want, you can compete for your favorite waifu. I heard that they tend to go for guys with the biggest score. So guys or gals, get your scores up. For some reason there's a winter mode toggle too, so you can switch the title screen background. I, I don't know. I was actually really hoping that the winter mode would make certain features protrude a little bit more, but uh, no such luck. There are also two unlockable characters. I haven't figured out how to unlock them yet. Maybe you need to unlock all of the other girls' outfits first. I don't know, but I would love to see what they look like. What I love about this selection of girls is that they all have different body types. Here we have the idol, this cutie, and dang, look at those mushmoons. Crazy. But yeah, they all have different shapes here. There are nine different girls, all voiced in Japanese, and it's priced nicely too. MSRP is six US dollars. It's available on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. So good on East Asia Soft for slowly wearing away at Sony. I'm hoping they can keep pushing the boundaries with Sony to get more and more lewd content back on there. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today, but stay tuned, I've got so much more to get to.